the loop, speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth. Saving souls of the old, doing God's work with more to do. And he turning up every week and get lit. Get it, nigga, the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up. Saints of God, I want you to know this morning before you take your seat that what you settled for in the past will not hinder what you are believing God for in the future. I want you to know this morning that whatever season you may be in, whatever you may be dealing with, whatever time you may be going in, I want you to know that in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. God allows you to live life on levels, and he lets you experience life in seasons. Now, how you manage your seasons determines the level you get to live life on. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 3 and 11, he has made everything beautiful in its time. So every blessing has time attached to it. No season is permanent. So no, no, no matter what it is you're going through, no matter what it is you're dealing with, be it good or bad, I need you to understand that no season is permanent. That there is a new cycle that's about to begin. And for some of you that have been going through something, you ought to be excited about that, that no matter what season you're in right now, it's not permanent, it's not going to last forever, there is a new cycle that's going to begin. It is your responsibility to understand what season you're in and to manage that season well. Why? Because the seed for promotion is hidden inside of the proper management of the season that you're in. You have to manage where you are today. Somebody say today. You have to manage where you are today well. Even if it's something that you don't like. Even if you're going through a season that's horrific, even if you're going through a season that you don't like, you have to manage it well. You should not walk around wearing your season on your face. A test is a span of time between two seasons. And everybody under the sound of my voice, you will have to take a test. Some of us got to take a pop quiz. I can't get no help in here. <laughs> You will always know that you are going through a time of testing because in a time of testing is when God goes silent. And, 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 there's, and there's some of you this morning, God is not speaking you in this time and you're not hearing from God in this time. And I need you to understand that it's not because God is angry at you. It's not because you've done anything wrong. The reason you're not hearing as clear in this time that you want to hear is because the teacher never talks during a test. But when you pass the test, <laughs> when you pass the test, God begins to open new doors for you. God begins to make new ways for you. When you pass the test, that's when God begins to take you from glory to glory, from faith to faith. Do I have any test passers in here today that can testify that I passed the test? I need y'all to help me right there. It's quiet. I like that. I, I need somebody to say, I, I, I need somebody to help me. Everybody say, shh. Say, it's, it's a test in progress. <laughs> yes, yeah, some, so, some, somebody on your road. It might not be you today. It might, might not be you today. You might, might not be you today. But, but, but believe me, somebody on your road is going through a test. Some, somebody, somebody on your road is going through something. I don't care what it is your hand has been charged to do. Do it with all your might. If it's part-time work, 
if it's CEO work, whatever it is that God has called your hand to do, don't halfway do it. Do it with all of your might. But the grace of God is right here. He allows you to fall on a low level. <laughs> See, if you fall on a tricycle, you would just skin your knee. But if you fall on a 25 speed, you could break your whole leg. And there's some of you, you are asking God for big and you have mastered small. And what I'm trying to get you to understand is that God wants to do something big in your life, but you got to make it through this test so that he can promote you. Pastor Luke's